All right, so the weekly is over and I am about to collect my weekly rewards. I was decently ranked in most things. Um, I'll show you that and I want to give you an idea of what you get every week, essentially, if you are a well. This is me. I've been going fairly hardcore, although today, the last day, I was not really uh, going that hardcore because I went on a hike instead today and I was kind of tired. So if we look here, I'm going to go ahead and collect my arena PVP type of rewards, 1800 gems. Last week's rank, I was number six in Omega War. Shout out to the five people who beat me. Dimension Duel here. Let's see, I was Diamond Three, it resets, and now I'm back at Plat One. And what do I get? I get 1000 Dimension Duel tokens. Well, what can we use this with? Let's look at what 1000 will buy us. Let's look at the tokens. Dimension Duel, 1000 tokens. It looks like we'll get us nice three highest grade training manuals and then some. Or we could buy the potential reports or the Furies classified data. Now, this is where the decision is going to be interesting. The core boxes are a complete scam. If you buy these, you're stupid, basically, unless you just have way too many points. Um, the training manuals are probably going to be uh, the best thing to purchase. These are are a scam because you can buy these in the Alliance things for 7,500. This is a bait. So that's basically just there for if you just want to dump tokens instead of gold. That's what it's there for. So I think these Fury classified datas are probably one of the best things you can get, to be honest, unless you've already maxed out your squad rank points because these are good. After that, it's probably we're going to get to these here, the highest grade training manual. The Radiance and everything are going to be good because, um, to be honest, getting the talents or specialization, as they're called, is really hard. And these are very expensive if you actually whale out for them. So not bad. I would say that, you know, the rewards are decent. So let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do is these. I'm going to buy these because I think that's what I personally need right now. There we go. Wait. Did I, I thought I got, did I not get a thousand? Oh, I did get, I bet I have to collect it. Uh, hold on. I bet it's in my, yeah, I bet it's right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and collect those there. Uh, let's go back to the store real quick. And back to tokens, Dimension Duel. And here we go. I can buy these. So this is what I've got with my Dimension Duel winnings for the week. And we have 412 left. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Furies Classifieds. And then after that, I think uh, I'm going to just hang on to them for the moment because I have a full week coming and I'm not really sure where I'm going to place them the next week. So I might need them. No, this temporary server instability. There's been a disruption. Okay, good to know. I read that. Let's call it a day. Now, let's look at the other reward we got. Arena Dark Zone. This is the one that's really important. So this is where the one time no whammies actually matters. So I was ranked 12. Um, that's not as high as I would have liked to be in the dark dimension, considering I was the third person to level 100. I probably should have been higher, but I didn't focus on this like I think I should have. Uh, there's currently no one at all doing it, but because it just reset and you see I was right here. So I got 10 of them and I could have got four more basically if I got rank one. I don't think I could have got rank one personally. Now let's, oh, hold on. I'm sorry, one moment here. I'm going to use the books. And they see that this is why the Fury tokens are great, because look, it's weapon development, which is essentially your damage. I get PvP damage soon, and I need those. That's why I decided to pick that one. Okay, so let's see. Dark Zone, I was going to show you. We have those boxes, and what we can get from those boxes is some pretty good stuff. So let's see if we get lucky. The six-star badges are amazing. We probably could claim these on different characters, but since we can trade badges anyway, it doesn't really matter. And let's go ahead and... Okay, let's do five and five because for I'm just superstitious. And I'm going to get boned if I do all ten. Oh, okay. Wow, that's okay. That's not a bad drop rate. So I got a six star. Um, ooh, double row and critical damage battle badge and a set final stop of evolution defense, defense, and defense and row double red. Wow. I mean, it doesn't have crit rate, but that's just me complaining. That's okay. That's a great piece. And then what we have here, the same thing. That's the four piece. So we have two, four, and then we wrote four again. Oh, unstoppable power. So there's different sets you get. Uh, defense, critical damage decrease. That's amazing. Dodge rate. That's pretty good. And debuff resistance. That's all fine stats. And then you get hit rate with those. Interesting. Okay. And cosmic conqueror, which is part of a defense piercing set, the lunatic experiment. 
So you basically get a pretty good variety of potential sets. And then check this one out. Defense, final stop evolution, one of those with cooldown decrease. Okay. And then the hit rate one. And that was only five of them. We have five more to open. So this is kind of where I suppose getting the higher ranks is good. We didn't get any six star there. Modoc Madness. I wonder if I'm going to end up having enough for the set bonuses because the stats are pretty good. We'll compare them in a second to the other ones here. Ooh, air to surface damage. That is interesting. Okay. So there's one for that right there. I don't know if you can hear the fireworks. Fourth of July, so there's fireworks out there. And then this one here, surface to air damage as well. So that's what we got for our weeklies. And not too bad. Squad rank experience. Okay, almost eh, what about half a level there. Uh, and it took it took 600 bucks to get that. Do you think that was basically 600 bucks worth of enjoyment and uh, rewards? That's why I say it's best not to spend money on the game, in my personal opinion. So this is a big bummer because the piece that I rode here that's actually quite good. Uh, I rode with critical rate, triple on already with critical damage. So this one is unfortunately not gonna have as much critical rate, but it has two red cores, which means we can put crit rate in them and trade it for that. And it should, it should balance out anyway. So I'm actually gonna equip that as is. And we got 17,000 power, 17,000 power. That's with no cores. Wow. Holy moly. And then you can see my cores are garbage, I think is the term for it. We have to do some core combining, but you know what, for now, I'm just gonna throw these crit rates in there. And that's just with these two spots, even with the three star ones, that's over 5% crit rate from one slot. So that's pretty good guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. So let's look at the other, the other spots and see if there's anything that's really quite good. Uh, we rode, no, nothing there, and no, nothing in the one spot. So we didn't get anything for the one spot. The four spot, we got nothing either. I Oh, we got the, that's right, we got some purple badges. So any of these? Nope, they're all actually the lower level ones. So they all got rode in the lower spot. This one here is Dodge Rate Triple Row. It's a level 90, and it has a red and a, uh, a red as well as a yellow spot, whereas this one has Defense Triple Road plus defense and, it's, and it we can trade out it, uh, this one. We'll lose a little bit of crit rate, but we can put it back in the other one to gain a little bit more. And then we can get way more defense. I think that's probably the obvious answer. I'd take defense over dodge rate any day in my opinion. I'm gonna lock that one and put it on there. I bet we're gonna get more power, 5,000 more power and that's out without having managed the cores yet. So let's see what we have for cores for this. There we go. We can go with 2.8% five uh, defense or the dodge rate. I'm just gonna go with the defense because to be honest, I never see my character dodge. Like, I'm just randomly, like it just doesn't happen, and especially against bosses. I feel like people have so much hit rate which counters dodge that's almost a bad stat, whereas defense is great against everything but defense piercing. So I think I'd rather have defense and HP for effective HP is what kind of my thought process is. Just throw this garbage on there temporarily. Go back to the one that we're not using anymore and extract this and uh, swap that out for, oops, actually that was one of the ones we were using there, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, oops, it was this one that we're not using, right, anymore? I gotta look, hold on. Which one was it that we just had? This one right here, manage cores, you, extract, you, extract. All right, sir, that, let, now these pieces, now when you get these new pieces, um, one something that is pretty good about the rewards is once you get them what you can do is then take the previous ones that are worse and pass them off to your other characters So now we're at 451,000 uh, Oh, wow, that is some pretty good power there and that's without that's without anything more than a two set bonus here because I got random pieces um, The Hydra Empire boots we might actually level today so we can get it You know the two percent from that one and switch these boots out uh, these stats are better as well, so we can get some more power there. So that's probably what we're gonna work on next. That was the rewards you get for the week. I also got, um, I placed, I'll show you real quick. There was one other reward I got, which is the battle challenge one, the weekly ranking. Um, I placed, I wanna say, where is it? Somewhere in here, I got 11 of them. So I think I was like ninth or, or six. I was rank six is what I was in this. And uh, I got six of these and it just wrote a bunch of, it was all blues. I mean, the cores are always like the worst RNG I've ever seen. I, I'm assuming the drop rates are absolutely terrible. So 
There you go, a little bit of challenges for uh, getting decent rank two, and that's where we're at. And now we got the, check this out too, I wanna show you guys this real quick too. Uh, when you go to the next level of your alliance, see there's the alliance shop here. Now we've unlocked the three to five star core box that we can buy too. So we can buy once of these a week now, and we can also once a week buy the potential. So make sure you get in the alliance as soon as possible. Okay, that being said, thanks for watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you wanna help me out, but don't worry about it. Have a great day.